Welcome to day 14 of the 31 Days of Tarot Challenge. All right, I have a handful of tarot cards, specifically court cards today, because today's topic was which court cards do you would be your uh, would you date? Which one would you marry? Which one would be your best friend? And which one would be your mortal enemy? Okay, so I'm looking through ones that stand out that might fit um, one or more of those categories. So, okay. First off, I'd just like to say that... I relate most to the Court of Swords, the intellectuals, the thinkers, the communicators, the um, justice seekers, uh, the ones who need hard facts and evidence. Uh, those are those are the people that that's my tribe. Those are the people that I like being around. Um, so knowing that, um, I would say that I would be dating and marrying the king or the knight of swords. And I'm pretty sure I did. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I did just that. Um, I think my husband probably goes back and forth between the king and the knight, um, yeah, he's someone who definitely likes a good debate. He's always researching something. Like just this morning, he came up to me and was trying to explain some, uh, not statistics, probability formula to me. And <laughs> he's like, I'm not explaining this right. And I'm like, no, it's not that. I'm sure I'm completely 100% capable of comprehending the equation that you're trying to explain to me through words and not on paper. But right now I'm trying to do laundry. So can I just, <laughs> can I just do the laundry? Um, because math probability just isn't on my priority right now. So yeah, that's, that's our relationship. We like to talk about math and science and social justice. <laughs> okay. So, who would be my best friend? Um, yeah, you know, I kind of settled on the Queen of Pentacles. And the reason I chose her was because I think she would be a great mentor. I think um, she's someone I could look up to and learn from. And also she probably has a lot of cool stuff that she'd be willing to share or give generously. She'd just be like, oh, I don't need this anymore here. Have this, you know, fancy piece of electronics or I don't know, what have you. She'd just have a lot of spare stuff that she would be like, here, have this. I don't need it anymore. Um, so, yeah, I think I could have a good relationship with the Queen of Pentacles. Um... Now, who would be my mortal enemy? Well, yeah, I don't, I, I kind of have two, one probably more so than the other, but the Knight of Cups, every time I look at him, I just want to go, Ugh. like he just annoys me. <laughs> I have like very low tolerance for people who are more emotional than um, rational, I guess. Um, that's just me. It's not, I don't know, it's just a personal preference. It's not that one's better than the other. But he is just too mushy, too much of a dreamer, not enough of a hard worker, too sensitive. So that just, that's just something that kind of irks me about him. Um, where, here was my other choice, the Queen of Wands. And I picked her as a mortal enemy um, because on one hand, I think, you know, she might be super fun to hang out with. But 
on the other hand, I think if I ever got on her bad side or anyone who gets on her bad side might pay the price because she is so social. She does value being the center of attention. And so if that was ever threatened, I think she would have a fire within her to seek out vengeance, <laughs> revenge. I think she would hold a grudge. I think she would use her connections to make your life hell if she wanted to. Um, she would try to ruin your reputation if it meant saving her own. So, yeah, she. I think she has the potential to be a little bit uh, bordering on, I don't want to say evil, but yeah, just a ruthless um, individual. So, yeah, don't get on the bad side of the Queen of Wands because she'll get you. Yeah, I think she would be my mortal enemy. Because, yeah, she's one that seems to like like drama or be willing to stir up drama. And I don't. I don't have the patience for that. So, uh, yeah, those are my cards. Those are the ones I would choose. So I would date the swords. I would marry the swords. Um, I would befriend the pentacles. And I would avoid the Queen of Wands. What about you? Which cards do you relate to the most? Like, is there one that you feel summarizes your personality? Um, is there a suit? Is there a particular card? Um, do you have a spouse? Which one do you think they fall under? Uh, yeah. Let me know your thoughts on that. Who would you date, marry, befriend? or have as your mortal enemy. Write that in the comments and I will, yeah, we'll compare notes. And I'll be back tomorrow for day 15 of the 31 Days of Tarot Challenge.